Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, gentlemen, we're going to be talking about the three differences between the handkerchief and the pocket square. I know some of you guys out there, you're thinking, okay, handkerchief, pocket square, aren't they the same thing? And to be honest, a lot of us, when we write about these things, we use the words interchangeably. However, there is a difference and I'm going to dive right into it. But before that, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way these videos come right to you. And if you like this, if you find it useful, please click on the like. And if you've got something to add, jump down there in the comments. Let me know what you think, how we can make these videos better. And what are your thoughts on the handkerchief and the pocket square? Did you know the difference? And uh, do you think the handkerchief should be making a comeback? So really quick to start off, what's the difference? One's for show, one's for blow. Can you guess which one? So the pocket square belongs in the pocket, the handkerchief in your back pocket or in your front pocket and that one is for use. So basically, you're going to be washing the handkerchief after you use it. The pocket square, you're not blowing your nose with it. This thing is for show only. So with that, the big three differences, material, size and thickness. And I'll get into each, but I want to start off with a little bit of a story. So I had a company reach out to me, uh, Tissue, they're over in Montreal and both uh, Marion and Thomas great couple. They started showing me what they were doing. They have these beautiful, beautiful handkerchiefs. And I know what some of you all are thinking that why in the world would I carry a handkerchief when I can just carry tissues and throw them away whenever I would have to literally carry something that would have, you know, basically snot in it. So I understand that point of view. And I'm going to tell you my personal story with the handkerchiefs. Back in 2004, I was living in Ukraine, had just went over there, was spending time with my new wife, and we're living with her family. And I noticed that her father was a huge handkerchief fan. This guy had a collection. And it kind of, I, I, I needed some tissues. I did, couldn't find any of those small packets. So I started using the handkerchiefs. And lo and behold, those things were a lot better than tissue. Uh, I didn't feel like I was always having to throw things away. I had just one piece. It, you know, it didn't actually, you know, fill up with snot throughout the day, even though I was using it to blow my nose because uh, I just get allergies and things like that. And I found I liked actually having that. It was always there in my pocket. And at the end of the day, I'd just bring it back and throw it into the laundry and I would get a new one. Now, forgot about that. Come back to the United States. Let's fast forward 10 years. And now I've got the guys and the, the lady overhead tissue reaching out to me and they sent me these samples. And I have to say, this is pretty cool stuff. So I had them put together a collection for real men, real style followers. You guys can go check it out it's specifically for men. And uh, I think you're going to like what you see, but let's talk about the material. So the material on the handkerchiefs, a hundred percent cotton. That's what you want. The cool thing about cotton and what I noticed about my wife's father's handkerchiefs is that they got softer over time. And I talked to my wife about this. She said that her father always preferred the ones that were like 20, 25 years old. So two things, one, they get better with time and two, 20 to 25 years, he would have these things. I mean, think about that. So you're actually, uh, these things get better with time and they're still stylish when you're using them. Now there are some cheap ones out there and you're going to see them. Usually they're going to have polyester. They're going to be a mix. I would avoid them. Uh, they're going to be easier to find, but I find that they just, yeah, they just don't have as much of the, uh, the cool factor. And uh, I, don't, I don't think they absorb as well. Now, if you find something and it's silk, guess what this is? Silk is a pocket square, never going to be a, a handkerchief as that you're not going to be able to blow on this thing and reuse it and wash it again and again. Otherwise that silk is going to fall apart. Silk is not made to be washed again and again. Cotton is made to be washed thousands and thousands of times and uh, can stand up to, uh, to a lot of wear and tear. So let's talk about size. Another thing with pocket squares is pocket squares are usually going, you're going to want them to be a little bit smaller. So if you look at the size of this pocket square right here, now this handkerchief is still relatively small, but I'll, I'll talk about that here in a second, but notice this one is a bit bigger. And when it comes down to bulk, they're about the same. So usually you're going to find pocket squares are going to be smaller. When they're larger, they're harder to wear. And I've got an example right here. This one, it's one of my favorites, but I can tell you, I wish it was 
half the size. This is a beast to try to wear uh, in there. I'm always, I always feel like I've got a bulge in there and I've got to be pretty careful with it. Although that did come in handy one time I pulled it out. This is probably one of the few, you know, reasons why you could actually use this. Uh, we were at a church, Eastern Orthodox, and there was a woman on a particular day. She needed a head covering. She didn't have it. She was actually putting a piece of paper over her head trying to, you know, follow the customs. And I was able just to pull this off. She was able to wrap it around. Good to go. Now, the third point that I talked about is thickness. And that's another one of the reasons I really like this company. Uh, they do a double ply. So basically you've got one layer of cotton here, one layer of cotton here. It's very thick, very strong, a very soft napped weave on this end, basically so you can blow right into it and it's not even going to go through. With silk, you're going to find paper thin and needs to be that way because you're trying to stuff it into a small area. Um, and that's it. Those are the three big differences. So again, go check out the company. Tissue, Thomas and Marion doing a great job. They're a couple. They've got two young kids and they are really they, just a beautiful website. I think it's a great idea. And if nothing else, you know, you're helping the environment. They've got a great deal set up where for every time someone buys a tissue, they are planting a tree. So uh, I think it's a pretty good initiative. And I know myself that you look at all the waste that we create and it's pretty cool when you see something that, uh, our grandfathers were using and that they, you know, they loved and were able to bring it back. And, uh, and yeah, that's about it. Gentlemen, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.